Eterito 5, O'Neill 2. Advantage and one foot in the final for Eterito, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, he's looked very strong on the attack. And it's just those chip balls that seem to be working. I think the only worry in his mind will be that he didn't score in the second half. So we sort of think, right, okay, he's figured me out a little bit here. But the thing is, he didn't concede any in the second half either. Very, very cagey affair in the second. I mean, the first half couldn't have been less cagey. In <laughs> the second yeah. half was a very cagey. Yeah, so I going mean. into the second leg, what do you feel is that turning point where, because at this moment in time, he's still 90 minutes ahead of him, game time for O'Neill to turn it around. What point does he need to go and, and, and change his tactics to go all out, do you um, feel? Or I do you feel he needs to go straight from the start? I think he needs to slow it down, maybe try and grab a goal, just play it slowly in the first 20, 25 minutes of game time. If he doesn't grab anything then, then he, need, he needs to try and change something to, to do something. At the same time, he needs to try and not concede against Eterito, which is a mission in itself. So we are underway in this second leg here between Eterito and O'Neill. And it is Eterito again kicking from left to right as he plays it through towards Iniesta. Chance to cross it into the danger area. It's Luis Suarez. Big chance here for Eterito. Neymar, it's into the back of the net. And it's a stunning start. And it's now... 6-3, I believe. 6-2, it should be. All right. 6-3. We're going with that this moment in time. Uh, yeah, it should be 6-2, I think. But Iniesta yeah. has a chance to play it through. Uh, a chance to, for Neymar there and an instant response from O'Neill, but it's been cleared away. And now Lionel Messi plays it infield towards Neymar again. Back to Rakitic, lovely one-touch football. Ball over the top, he's onside. It's two on two. It's Suarez, back to Neymar. Suarez goes again. Oh, he almost got through that back line, but good defending last gasp there from O'Neill. Ton, it's been another lightning start in this second leg. It has been. Ederido is strong again. It's just every single time he gets in the box, he just looks like he's going to score. And O'Neill needs to answer back very, very quickly. He's got Messi down the right-hand side, though. He's going to be looking for the cross himself. Is he going to go all the way on his own? Good defending. Really good defending. Once again, I said corner is going to be whipped in instead. So ten minutes gone here. 6-2 to Eterito on aggregate. 1-0 in this second leg. Rakitic, uh, it's been a good response from O'Neill after that opening goal from Eterito, but he now knows he has a, a long, long battle to get back into the match. He needs to score five to win this tie, unless we go, obviously, uh, to that five-minute playoff after the second leg. I mean, the question for me is not him scoring five, it's scoring five without letting Eddie yes, score. Correct. Anyway, yeah, he's going to clean that one up, though. It's going to be Matthew. He's going to be able to get this one away, and he needs to do something fairly, very quickly. And for me, I think the tactics need to be changed fairly soon. I think four goals behind, even if you get it to a draw, it's just it's a very very hard task for him at this moment in time. Ed Arido playing so so well in the middle of the, the middle of the park. Every time he goes forward, it looks like scoring. O'Neill just hasn't been as clinical or, or as convincing whatsoever. That's a lovely ball through. It's Luis Suarez. He's in again. Chance to make his seven. It's Luis Suarez. It's world class from the man from Italy. And Ed Arido has a seven-two lead in this second leg overall on aggregate. Unbelievable, Tom. Unbelievable, Adam. I'm just going to stick it in that way. <laughs> no, but he's looked so, so good. Oh, I mean, when we seen him at, uh, sorry, in, uh, at Anfield, we were like, wow, who's this guy who's just scoring an insane amount of goals? I think it was the first game of the day. We seen, what was it, 12, 13? 10-2. Ten, ten and it was against... Uh, in Dominator, who was the player's favourite for that regional. Well, there you go. I mean, it Another just man from everything. the Netherlands. He's, he's single-handedly taking down <laughs> the men from the Netherlands at the moment as uh, Lionel Messi twists and turns and now plays it back towards Rakitic. Rakitic, uh, it's another oh, good bit of play ball. here from O'Neill though. Lovely, wonderful, wonderful football from O'Neill and just the response he needed, but he needs to keep going. He needs to press now, doesn't he, Tom? He does indeed. And at this moment in time, with four goals behind, it's just not going to be enough, I don't think. 25 minutes gone on the game clock and we can see that Eterito is attacking once again which is the position you don't want him to be in it's going to be get laid off to Neymar fantastic save by Tostegan straight at him but he needed to reflect to that as well and I have no idea who's fouling or not there in the end O'Neill's going to get away with it but he has to try and spread this one it's, it's too fast it's far too fast but he hasn't got enough time it's almost got to the stage now that O'Neill needs to go hell for leather and just hope that Eterito has an off day 
towards the back end of this half and because off 60 and off 60 minutes because <laughs> he's going to have to open this game up and he's going to have to go for it because he is trading by those four goals at the moment uh, but he has left himself open like we were mentioning and it is an offside flag I believe so like I said if he can hope that Ederito just misses a few chances and can get some goals back then we have a game but at this here moment in time off. it here just it appears too easy doesn't it yeah he's going to have to change the formation we can see he's doing that going very attacking coming off Nobody. No, so again, only three centre backs. Back three. Yeah, it's looking like he wants to play. Yeah, he's going to go with three centre backs and then I'm trying to see if he's making any other changes. It doesn't seem so. So he's definitely pushing Luis Suarez uh, uh, further forward and he's bringing in Lionel Messi, uh, sort of pushing him in closer for the flick downs, etc. So uh, definitely an attacking change there from O'Neill and. Of course, Etorito just going with the fairly standard 4-3-3 yeah. that we've seen from him uh, most of the way through the tournament. I thought he had a slow start, Etorito, and, and I wasn't sure if maybe, you know, Anfield was a flash in the pan, but I, I, I think he's honestly showing here now that is definitely not the case. Fantastic work from him. As we look at this game now, I just don't see O'Neill coming back into it. I think it's impossible. So Iniesta out on this left-hand side, not a usual wing-back suspect, but he is going to be played there at the moment. When needs must, players will be played out of formations. It's the case of uh, a square peg in a round hole, isn't it, Chris, for Iniesta there on the left-hand side, you feel? If that's what, what words you want to use, I don't know. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> 33 minutes gone here in the second leg. 7-2 on aggregate to Eterito as is, Luis Suarez has the chance to play it through to Neymar and because of the wing backs there is going to be space in behind for that diagonal through ball and Neymar lovely footwork oh. and that is unbelievable and he just stands up and takes the applause from the fans in the crowd the footwork there was incredible Tom absolutely sensational this is the best performance we've seen from anyone this weekend so far on the, on the main stage and really good work by Eterito and this is out of sight now for O'Neill Surely he doesn't come back into this game. Now five goals behind, and something needs to change drastically. And at this moment in time, it's all Eterito anyway. What? Because O'Neill is pushing so hard. Eterito every single time is able to counter attack, and he might be able to score again. Rakitic is here. He should be able to put this on the play for Suarez in the middle, and it's going to just about get cleared. But Eterito still with the pressure to Suarez, and it seems as if a foul out yeah, offside. What amazes me is watching Eterito play and actually. The amount of goals he's able to score against the best players in the world at Pez, yet in two games against Tiamit, he failed to score. So people Tiamit need to watch the... Tiamit's game and see <laughs> he's how he's stopping Eterito because Lionel Messi's in again here and he scores another goal. This is breathtaking for the man from Italy. Again, it, it, it's just simple stuff. He's, he's countering because <laughs> O'Neill has to go defensive. He's playing three at the back. Then every single time he goes forward, he's opening it up. Here we go, Vidal again. If Messi can get past here and get a pass away, then it's going to cause problems. Iniesta, going to look for Suarez, does have him running left. Has Messi on the right as well. He's just going to push on forward. Now we can see O'Neill has actually dropped back to defend here. He's going to be able to, but now he's not in a position to score. So I think ever since that first goal went in, it's, it's just been an onslaught. So just into the final minute of added on time here. Oh, oh he's he handled away by the goalkeeper, and that was a chance there for O'Neill. But Suarez couldn't quite get on the end of it. And at 9-3, at the end of the first half in the second leg, a six-goal swing now, surely out of the cards, Tom, based on what you've seen so far? I would absolutely say so. I, I, I think I think Eddardo is, is sailing into that grand final. Still a smile on the face of O'Neill. I don't know whether it's, he's just laughing at how good Eddardo actually is or whether he's just a, just a happy guy. But, you know, I mean... If he does lose this, no, he, always still a plays, he always plays the game in the right way, which I do love. Um, he's always got a smile on his face. He's always very, you know, congratulatory, and yeah. he's very nice with the other players as well. So, uh, uh, a great. Maybe, maybe not so much with Jose after that one before. <laughs> <laughs> after the event, yeah, not during. Uh, as the ball gets played down towards Vidal, blocked behind for a corner to be taken by. Uh, Rakitic who plays it in towards Suarez Suarez and back to Vidal Vidal crosses towards the back post headed away uh, and completed the clearance by Iniesta out towards Lionel Messi Lionel Messi back towards Vidal Vidal long ball over the top here looking for Lionel Messi again he's getting a lot of joy down this right hand side Lionel Messi's in again here twisting turning away oh, from three this is unbelievable God. football from Etorito 
and the crowd have gone absolutely wild here. Fantastic what more can you say, Tom? <laughs> Thank you for the weather report, by the way. <laughs> Fantastic work by Enterino once again. O'Neill may be in here, but it does not matter. 10 to 3 is the score. So 10 3 on aggregate, 5 1 on the day in this second leg. Uh, 55 minutes gone here, and Etorito sailing into the Pez League World Finals final. I mean, what, what's that a guaranteed price pool that he's now made himself? A hundred thousand US dollars has been guaranteed minimum for Etorito. Is that right? Just let that sink in. That man there on the stage from Italy has just claimed himself a hundred thousand US pay, dollars I could pay my minimum mortgage and off. he can double that in one game of pairs. I could pay my mortgage off. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? That's not a bad outing, to <laughs> say the least. You've got obviously commiserations and you've got to feel... It's not over by any means at this moment in time. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But, you know, you've got to feel that this, this, this uh, game is... You've got to feel it's done. Uh, and O'Neill has been absolutely incredible throughout the whole of the tournament, both in the regionals and here at the World Finals. He's, one of the He's had some amazing performances yeah. and results. Um, and I'm sure he'll be back to try his arm next year as the ball gets played through towards Neymar. Neymar down towards Busquets, plays it through. It's Neymar again. And uh, unbelievably, he's put it wide of the target. Not like him to see him miss any chances like that. Usually he's, he's right on point with them. But again, I don't think he'll, he'll care at this moment in time. He'll know he's going through to the finals. Who will he be playing against? Let's have a look. It's either going to be Grafera or uh, Jonah. Jonah. We'll get that right this time. It, it's going to be one of them too. And, Looking at that game, who beats him? Uh, for me, I think Guerrero may potentially win that game. I know we're, we're, we're branching away from this one a little bit. But, but you've got to remember, um, Jonah actually finished top of the Americas and Guerrero finished third. So although it, it's, it's a very hard game to call, they've obviously played each other. They know each other's game probably inside out. So again, another factor that they've got to take into uh, consideration as Neymar tries to turn it around the corner towards Suarez, but good defending again from PK. I have noticed as well, that uh, Etorito's defensive abilities have been quite impressive in this second yeah, leg as well. I mean, the fact that he can go forward and, and stretch himself to score 10 goals, wow, from, from the skills from Neymar are actually sublime as well. Oh my He's still word. going. What is he going to keep on going? Here. Neymar causing oh, this all is sorts just of problems. Fantasy football here from Etorito as it's played out towards Iniesta and now towards Luis Suarez. Good challenge from PK. Now Busquets again in towards Iniesta. Lovely ball over the top. Back to, back to Busquets. Now Suarez. Now Neymar. Another attack here from Etorito. He's oh. gone for an audacious chip. And it's just the wrong side of the crossbar, Tom. <laughs> just something I, I just want to expand on what I was saying there before. The fact that he can push on and score as many goals as this and stretch himself so much and only concede three in 180 minutes of football. So 50 minutes That's remaining here as O'Neill gets to go in behind here as Neymar shoots goalwards and it's tipped wide of the target. Another attack there for O'Neill, just not quite been his clinical best in these two legs. Uh, but again, he's under a lot of pressure, especially going behind so early in both legs. It's, it's tough, isn't it, isn't it, at this stage when you go behind? It really, really is. And it, it's hard to come back, especially, you know, players of this calibre. It's always going to be difficult to come back behind from a, defe a deficit. It's because they have to. It's all about the stretch and all about you know the players using all their energy. That's the thing. You're, you're constantly trying to get back into the game. It's an uphill struggle constantly. And there we go. Though O'Neill might be able to score there. a goal. Go! Oh wow! God! Bicycle kick there from the goalkeeper. Karate kick, should I say? <laughs> he nearly killed Neymar on the other side of things, but still pushing on here is Rakitic O'Neill trying to get another consolation goal here marked on the board but it's very very hard I think as he said it's been very well defended by Etorito as well let me chip towards Neymar and Umtiti is going to be there to clean things up as Testegan clears this one away I think the crucial moment in this match came in between the 20 and the 40 minute mark in that first leg when Etorito was able to stretch his lead from one to four and that pretty much ever since then he never looked back did he? Absolutely not I mean he's he, had a slower second half. He's one of these players that seems to use all the player energy in the first half. As we've seen, we've seen most of the goals have came in the first half uh, in both legs. Absolutely. Anyway, O'Neill uh, maybe tried to reserve it a little bit more to think of the long game, and in the end, it hasn't worked out for him. 10 3 is currently the score with a couple of minutes of game time remaining. Let's see if he can get one back on the score, but that's a great that's a ball. a lovely in. ball across the face, and just couldn't quite get that final 
killer shot oh. away. I'm not sure what Tostegan's doing there, though. Juggling with the ball inside his six-yard box and just manages to get it clear in the end. And this game, as we tick into the final minute of stoppage time, is going to end how it started with an Eterito attack. It's Lionel Messi, but it's straight at Tostegan. And that is going to wrap this second leg up. And Eterito has stormed his way to 100 thousand US dollars minimum really good work by him looking very convincing in that first semi-final and let's see going to see who's going to play in the final